What's up? I'm back and today is going to start my summer shredding program. Summer cut, summer something. I need a, I need a serious name for it. But I'm going out of town and it's gonna be hard to stay on track as far as eating goes because when you're on the go, uh, there's a lot of fast food. But I know some good fast food places where I can eat mainly chicken and rice. And so I'm gonna do that and start counting. I've been counting lately, keeping track of what I've been eating. So I've been doing pretty good. I notice I'm getting leaner. I'm gonna take it slow because today is March 5th, I believe. So take it slow. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Got the drone all charged up. Got the SD card clear. And all I'm running on is coffee. And the only macros I've had today is creamer. Accidentally had too many servings, but I will count it. So let's get the day going, guys. Here's my garden. I got a variety of different things, but it's all coming up pretty good. Just gotta keep it watered because this water, this dirt gets dry real quick. So sweet. I'm gonna do two of those. Should be about 10 grams of fat there. And then I'm gonna do the rest egg whites. Probably about five servings. And then mix it up together and maybe have a piece of jerky bacon. Five servings of egg whites. Stand on there. Get on the, get on the seal. See what you weigh. Stand up on it. Ready? Get up there. Ready? Oh, it went off. Oh, man. How come the yolk has to be the best part and the fattiest part? All right, that's should be good right there. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. Look at, look at right there. What's that? What's that? Okay. All right, so I just want to document and show you guys everything I'm eating because that's important for you to follow along and see how I do it and that you could follow along too. But the thing is, your macro numbers are going to be different. So if you need help, message below. Get in contact with me and Michaela. <laughs> Eat, lift, sleep, do it all over again. Repeat. I'm going to be making two pieces of toast. And this is Kirkland, Costco brand split top wheat. So usually this is what I have because we buy it in bulk. So I have a lot of it to eat. But usually a good tip for bread for macros is Sara Lee, they have 45 calorie per slice bread by Sara Lee. And you can find that at your local store. So I would prefer that instead of this, but this is what I got. I got to eat it, don't want to waste it. So I'm gonna make two pieces of toast to go along with this. Two pieces of turkey bacon and salsa. All right, that's my meal one, and that is Michaela. Supposed to be eating her oatmeal, but she ain't, right? Next tip for your toast, spray butter. Zero calories per spray. Okay, next tip, sugar-free strawberry preserves, and 17 grams per serving, only four carbs, okay? So that's gonna be that's gonna be something you want to use, and I don't know why this isn't focusing. These two things they make your toast good with low calories. Got to be some calories in those. Got to be some calories in those sprays. Just kidding. Can add some of this. Just one serving. That's it. Always way out. Everything. Everything matters. All calories matter. Yeah, go ahead and hate on me for that. Take it off the top anyways. All right, 16, I'm gonna use that. 17 grams is a serving, but... Okay. Done yet? <laughs> All right, there it is. Jelly's weighed out. Okay, so there you have it. Meal one. My drink of choice is zero calorie green tea, Arizona. All right, that's my drink of choice.
We've been driving and we made it to the Wava Grill. So, um, gonna get my second second set of macros right now. I'm gonna tell you guys how many macros I had. 47 protein, 45 carbs, and 30 fats. Let's get some more. lose weight eat your meals very slow it takes a while for your brain to get the message that you're full when your stomach's full so the slower you you eat the less you're gonna get in the long run so eat your meals slow because you're not having a whole lot of food since you're in a calorie deficit enjoy them enjoy the food don't worry about eating real fast I know you're gonna want to because you're super hungry but trust me enjoy your food and you'll have a new appreciation for your food that's a close-up so yeah, tip number one so far. We're on the road, it's rainy, foggy, and rainy. Okay, we made it. We're here, and it's pretty freezing, and it's pretty cloudy. So I'm gonna get my jacket, my sweater on, out of my suitcase, my bag, and um, ooh, it's starting to, starting to rain over here. It's so cold, so I gotta get warmed up, and then I'll check in with you in a second. On the way up here, I was thinking, I totally forgot to bring my scale, my food scale. And that would have totally messed me up completely for starting my summer cut. And then Gwen said, I think I brought your scale. I put it in the bag. I said, yeah, you put it by the bag, so I put it in there. I told her I would marry her again if she brought it. And she brought it. So how awesome is that? I'm not going to mess up. I can keep going now. So I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask her how good she feels for remembering my scale. But anyways, drink way too much Rockstar. And um, check out that view right there. Clouds and mountains. It's ice cold out there. So it's a good thing about my sweater. Okay, this is 3.5 ounces of chicken. This is cabbage and lettuce. And I, all I put on there was some red wine vinegar um, because I didn't want to use a whole bunch of fats from the other dressings. So that's all I'm having so far. Used a half a serving of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I weighed it out on my scale. Make sure you weigh all this stuff. It's a necessity. Okay guys, so I have to finish this video and it's gonna be short, just a little travel day. I do have proteins to hit. I have 12 fats to hit, quite a few carbs. I did bring my chocolate rice cakes. I could eat eggs and rice cakes to hit my macros, but I'm going to hit my numbers and I'm gonna get as close as I can to them tonight. Now, I'm at grandma's house, Gwen's mom's house, so I have to look through her fridge and see what she's got for protein. I'm thinking eggs and egg whites, rice cakes. But I'm gonna go in there and look, show you guys what I get. I haven't really sat down and calculated what my macros need to be. I kind of just set a number and I think it's like 2,300 calories to see what happens with my body eating that amount of food. My last meal, two whole eggs, three egg whites, two pieces of Kirkland split top wheat toast, and some Olala berry, Olala berry? Olala berry jam. That all weighed out. Uh, I was gonna have two rice cakes to top that off. Um, I still might do that because I'm at, a 18, I'm at 1,800 calories. You know, like I said before, I have it set for 2,300 calories, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think that's a little bit um, too much for me right now because I'm not spending a whole lot of time in the gym and I'm not doing cardio. So I think that if I was to hit 2,300 calories every day starting out, my body's not gonna change too much. So I've decided to lower it a little bit, mainly because I'm not 
doing cardio. I'm not being real active, at least not doing cardio yet. Um, we'll see if that changes tomorrow. So, so far that's my day of eating for the first day. I'm gonna have that, some hot tea right now. I'm gonna have some creamer in that, sugar-free, some stevia, and I'll maybe have two rice cakes. So what I'm gonna do is say that's my first day. Getting started is always tricky, trying to find your spot, your sweet spot, and I'm traveling, that makes it a little bit harder. Another thing that makes it hard is hitting your proteins when you're on the road, and I didn't bring my protein powder with me. So you're gonna find out if you're a bodybuilder, or you're a heavier guy that's gonna hit a heavier amount of protein grams, you're gonna need a supplemental protein powder, something that's gonna help you hit those numbers at the end of the day. I'm way under on what I should have for protein. Now, that's just my first day, go easy on me. I'm gonna hit those numbers pretty soon. I'm gonna find myself a supplemental protein powder, maybe while I'm here, or just do a better job at getting more protein in. Also thinking that I had more protein, that just didn't get counted because when we ate our Waba Grill bowls earlier, Gwen gave me some of her chicken, and I'm thinking I had more than what the app says I had. So I'm gonna go with that for a first day. I think it did pretty good for a travel day. Okay, so that's a good first day. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna edit this and go find some internet to upload it. And actually I do have unlimited data on my Verizon plan now, but I don't think the upload would be good. So I'm not even gonna try it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Guys, please like and subscribe. I wanna give some more tips tomorrow on counting macros. So make sure you come back, all right? We're gonna do this every day and it's a summer cut. So every day you're gonna see my step-by-step -step process to get shredded, okay? Night.